What is a story? Whether relating through images on a cave wall, through poetry, song, prose, a movie, a play, or simply relating an amusing incident to a friend, we communicate through telling stories. The unity of character is super important and you start on a journey with, with a new reader. The best way to begin is to begin, to get something, anything, down on paper. We all say, oh, it's just a first draft. Well, if that's intimidating, call it the zero draft. It's even before the first draft. You're gonna put everything in. Later, you can cut and move things around. Any piece of writing that is published is gonna be rewritten and revised many times by you. It's going to be edited and in many cases rewritten in large parts by uh, editors. So the important thing now is just to get something, anything down on paper with no pressure. Instead of starting at what one might call the beginning in terms of chronologically, I like to look at where the story is gonna end. I look at what is gonna be the high point for the main character or narrator of your story. What's that person's turnaround, and also what is the resolution of the conflict. We want to start closer to where, the, to where the conflict is at a peak. What is the story problem? What is the conflict? Real life is full of conflict. Nobody is perfect, nobody's life is perfect. The space between who you are and who you wish you were, or the way you live and the way you wish you lived, in that lies Conflict. Conflict makes things readable. You want to find out how the conflict's going to be resolved. You don't have a story if you don't have conflict and change. But a character can't change so much as a result of resolving the, this conflict that they become unrecognizable. Emotional logic is so important because really the story is about how this character changes and it might be just a small change. A scene is the most important building block of any story. Show what you can, almost everything you can in scenes. Put the reader right there with the narrator or the main character or whatever character, you know, happens to be the focus of the scene. Scenes will consist of people speaking, whether it's one character speaking an inner monologue or several interacting, even speaking over one another. All you need is the little word said. So it can be a useful exercise for you as you are writing dialogue to restrict yourself to only using the word said. The story must make sense. A logical, well-constructed story will create tension and build to a conclusion. The ending of the story should be pretty firm in your mind. Maybe not how exactly you're going to end it, but the secret to the end of your story is really to be found in the beginning of your story. You know, what, what is that question, that, that conflict that you set up? The ending has a lot to do with what the turning point of the story is. And that, you know, if you don't know what the turning point of the story is, I actually feel like you can't really start writing that. You can't start writing the story about because that is all goes back to, you know, establishing the conflict at the beginning of the story. And if you don't, know what the turning point is, and you don't really even know what the conflict is. There are people who outline ahead of time and have strict structure, and those of us, this would be me, who just write. I prefer the rewriting part probably because of my editor's cap, um, because for me, it's a second chance. As a writer, you've, I think, done the hard work by getting down that first draft. But now you've got something concrete to work with. Once your story is done, you need to be attentive to the technical details that will be required by the publisher. There's another piece of it, which is the cover letter. I know people will agonize for days about what they should say in the cover letter. Don't worry about it. A little bit about yourself is fine. What your story says, what your article or novel, what it says, that's what's really important. You are giving something to the universe, and occasionally, the universe may be appreciative. And that makes all the difference. Hi guys, we're here at B Electric Studios in Brooklyn, and for the past two days, the Guidepost team has been here shooting a video and talking about how to tell a good story, actually, how to tell a great story. We talk about this stuff all the time, every single day at work, so 
made it very easy to uh, talk about it here. Everybody we worked with made it really easy um, and fun. It was really a fun day. I don't know that you can necessarily teach someone to have the passion and the desire to write, but one thing I think we can do quite effectively is to take writers and teach them how to write better. What I hope is that by watching these videos, you learn some of these skills and you translate that into pieces of writing that will be successful and published and will change people's lives.